what's going on guys this is lifex and in this video tutorial i'm gonna show you how to install kali linux inside your oracle vm virtual box so also you guys can say that we are creating a hacking lamp or penetration testing virtual hacking lamp all right so let's get started without wasting time and be sure to hit that thumbs up button for this video and let's begin so we okay so first uh we want to launch the google chrome and navigate to this website it's the kali.org slash download so from here you want to download your architecture based operating system so mine is at 64 bit and download right direct from here not from torrent because uh, torrent is gonna slow you down uh, down the speed make sure download from the, the direct download because it's not available because I have no internet access right now sorry for that guys so um, after that you guys one of the downloading the virtual box right over from here okay so depending on your operating system you gotta be downloading yourself so mine is at the windows so click over here so if you are in the OS X or Macintosh make sure to download this 64 bit from here and if you guys are in the Linux or, or on a slower is host then you guys need to download from here Okay, so also you guys can download the Linux um, from the software center as well. So okay, so after you download this virtual box, you need to set set up your virtual box, and it will pretty be pretty seems like mine right over here. This is the virtual box, and at the first uh, you won't be looking this right over here, and it's been already installed by myself. Okay, so that's been opened by me. So what you're gonna do first is click on new, and we gotta be giving a name. So I'm, I wanna give it Kali um, test, all right, and then choose your type. So type it should be Linux, and we wanna choose the Debian 64 bit because Kali Linux is uh, Debian based. And click on next. Increase the uh, RAM as you much as, as you can. Okay, so. In my case, I'm giving a two gigabyte. So um, after that, you want to create the VDI Deximase. Click on Next, Dynamical. You choose you choose the Dynamical allocated, and click on Next. And then um, right over here, we don't want to leave as the eight gigabyte for installation because it's not gonna work for you guys. I'm I'm pretty sure. Okay. So we're gonna increase this up to 15 gigabyte, just like that. Okay. So 15, 15 gigabytes should be enough for <laughs> your hacking RAM. Okay. So let's create. And now your hacking machine is ready to go. So just go over here and keep on setting, and go to system, and now check on processor. Be sure to give the enough processor. So in my case, I'm giving just a two processor for my hacking lab. And also, if you guys want to give the display, then you guys can give a display um, memory up to what uh, you want. Okay. So, and final part. So go to storage and check on empty right over here. And this is a VDI disk. Okay, you can use this at later if you delete this. So just click on the empty right now and click on the CD icon and then choose virtual optical disk and navigate you to your download and you guys wanna navigate to your download so I have already downloaded the Kali Linux so it's right from here right over here just choose the image or iOS of file and then you wanna open that file like that just like that and okay click on ok alright so you guys are good to go so now just you need to do is start so right now we are going to be setting up okay it's starting the virtual box right now you guys can even full screen and capture okay so just click and go to the graphical installation when um, also you guys can choose the live so right now we are going to install 
acoustic graphical installation for make you easy all right so it's mounting so right now just choose the English your language and you can choose your country so I'm living I'm uh, leaving this as default also the keyboard math used as American English and then okay so it's loading all the components as as <laughs> it can okay uh, it should take some time for you guys so leave um, leave this alone you don't need to do anything at this part all right, it's detecting the true hardware and uh, should configure the IP right now as you guys can see that Okay, it's configuring the USCP. Now we are going to give a host name So I'm leaving the host name as default as a Kali. You guys can name your Okay, so continue and if you guys do have a domain like .com or .net or .edu .org, any website you can link over here so just continue I don't have any so password is password alright so we are going to use the password be sure to remember this password never lose this password because you are not able to get one safe okay so it's setting up the time um, okay come on baby All right, it's taking a tough time, but um, guys, I'm not going to um, show you all the steps because it's gonna take me about an hour to complete because it's my just personal laptop and it's very freaking slow. So just choose your time zone. So I'm on Eastern, and it should detect your decks. So use the guided use okay and first continue continue i'll file yep i wanna and it will create your swap memory as a 700 mb and 15 gigabyte of your hard disk okay so just click on finish partition and write changes click on continue and click on yes all right boom guys it's installing the system right now you are good to go and make sure guys you had disconnect your internet right now because uh, it's gonna update full so please 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 be sure to disable your con uh, unplug your internet or <laughs> unplug your Wi-Fi because it's gonna update everything and it will take you a lot of time so uh, I'm not gonna show you guys over here all the steps just I want to make you remain that um, you should use the grubbot install installer click over all on click over yes okay um, so once you install this and complete it it should be just looking like and also make sure to close it out okay like that so once you have installed it then yours uh, should be looking like this I'm starting my own I have just uh, installed this uh, recent all right guys I'm launching mine okay so I can enter so it's starting uh, <laughs> Kali Linux right now if you guys uh, uh, that you don't have full screen then I recommend you guys to watch my previous tutorial uh, on how to make your Kali Linux run full screen on your virtual box It will be in my link in the description as well. You guys can check it out Okay, so this is how it will look after installation so many of user they as a beginner they will fail Okay, so the username it's root always rem remember that username is always root and click on next and then password is your root password so I'm just gonna give a root password as mine and click on sign in and boom there we go we have successfully launched Kali Lane next and set it up 
as the hacker lab okay hacker lab so guys thank you very much for watching this tutorial hope you like it and you get some knowledge about installing the hacking lab if you guys love this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button and also share this video with your friends and families okay and yeah in next tutorial I will I'll be covering on um, installing your wireless kit on the virtual box because we need that for our Wi-Fi pen test okay so right now bye and peace out